นี่เป็นเจ้ากันเป็นธุรกิจอ๋อธุรกิจใช่ Yes business man Yes ไปนำทีหนูไปไปนำทีหนูไม่ต้องเลย What's up, guys? It's your boy Ace, and I'm here with a special guest, boy named Jamal. Yeah, yeah, boys. Okay. Yo, yeah, what's up? All right, Jamal is very interesting, and I, but I'll let him explain who he is. Um, very interesting guy. We're here in Pattaya, but Jamal, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yo, yeah, what's up? I'm Jamal. I'm moving here about 15 years now, and I've been living here ever since. So I came first time for vacation, then I realized. I can do some business down here, especially in Bangkok. So you decided to come here for business. Yeah. But why do you think this would be the best place to do business here? And what type of business, if you can talk about that? I mean, when I, I used to go to New York, buy some stuff and selling online. Okay. And I do realize, I mean, lots of stuff they made here in Asia. Okay. So I said, why not? I should go there to, to check by myself. If it's more, you know, more cool. More so, so basically, going to the direct source, uh, source instead of dealing with like a middleman or something like that. Exactly. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, you need to trust yourself and go check by yourself. I went to Bangkok, buy some stuff, selling back home, and one day something happened. It doesn't work like I want. So I decided, okay, if I want to run my business, I need to be here. So that's why I came. Okay, so you were in Bangkok. Yeah. All right. 15 years is a long time to be in one country, man. I mean, not for me. Years like. Well, a lot of things can happen within 15 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, right. uh, as far as anything, just adjusting to the language barrier here. Well, a lot of people do speak English here, so I'm assuming that wasn't an issue, or was that an issue? No, at that time it wasn't an issue. Bye bye. Right. It wasn't been an issue at that time. Yeah. And what I did first time, first, I start to learn word by word. You know, asking them, okay, how do you say class in Thai? Can you describe more in detail, like your method of learning Thai? Like first thing first, learn vocabulary. Okay. This is the thing. Then try to make a sentence. You know. All right. So, for example, give us an example. What would you learn how to say what? What would we, one word that you? I mean, learned? I used to go every day in Seven Eleven. Uh huh. So I would like to buy like water. Yeah. Say, how do you say water? And the response, Nam Pao. Nam Pao. Mm -hmm. Then I say, okay, it looks like easy. So I keep learning like that, like that, every single day. Then I become more confident in time. So I try. Okay, very interesting, fellas. So basically, what I'm understanding is, you basically use you. Well, it, it was a survival technique. All right, closed mouth, don't get fed. So you're gonna have to learn how to survive. One, and if you need water, you need I food. Mean, exactly. <laughs> if you want to make business here, you need to speak the languages to be more easy, more convenient for yourself to get the right price. You know what I'm saying? You need to make yourself understand by those people. You gain some respect because you do speak the language, is that? Exactly. Okay. And this is what happened the first time. So, I said, okay, this is how we do here. I'm going to learn more. I like learning, so for me it's no big deal. Okay. So okay. I start to learn, 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 more and more again, you know. Okay, well, besides biz business, what about socially? Because people need a social life. 15 yeah, years is a long time. Whoa. Here, for real, if you're social, you will feel yourself, you know, easy, like a fish but, on water. Well, 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 let's get into deeper into the topic of being social. What what techniques did you do be, to become social, to develop some form of uh, friendship in the community you're in? I mean, you go to the gym, stuff like that. Every day when you go, do some business or shopping. You talk with people every single day, and they become, you know, more friends, more close to you. And they want to know why you came here for, just like you, right now. And you know, day by day, you start to meet some new people, and it depends how you feel. 
people shy, if you have shy people, you know. But wait a minute. So have it, was there another, any time where you kind of felt like maybe you didn't fit in or something? Was there any time like that? No. Not for real, though. No. Okay. I always felt good. That's why I'm still here. Okay. So, because I could imagine, you know, you being a foreigner, having to adjust to the new typical type of culture they have here. Yeah, but sometimes, in fact, you start speaking the languages, you know, they more, they become more close to you. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it wasn't difficult to adjust myself. It's like, I felt like home, you know, the way I'm talking to people, the way they respond, the way, you know, it was good. Okay, you've developed some friendships here within 15 um, years. Yeah, yeah. What about uh, any romance while you were here? Yeah, I've been with someone for seven years. Seven years? Yeah, seven years. Is that person a local or? Yeah, local. Okay, so. Describe that encounter just dealing with um, a local here. I mean, for me, it was the same relationship I will have in my own country. Interesting. Yeah, because it depends on where you act here. Okay. You know, most of the people that come down here, they just want a woman, they want company. Yeah. They don't make any, you know, they don't improve themselves try to communicate properly with them. Well, okay, you said seven years. What city are we talking about you developed that friend, um, that relationship? Here. Here? In, Here. in Pattaya? Yeah. Pattaya? Yeah. All right. She has her own business. She got her own business. Yeah. So you develop a, uh, a relationship? A real, true relationship, like anywhere in the world. Now, it's very interesting, but, uh, you know, could you have developed that same relationship without speaking Thai? Or maybe because you do speak it, it is a, like an advantage? Maybe because I speak Thai. Now, you're, you guys are from two different worlds, yes? Yeah, yeah. I do, I do notice but that Thai... But she do speak English too. She speak English? Yeah. So, oh, so you guys can talk and do two different languages? Yeah, exactly. All right, so um, what, what is the normal language that you guys speak together? English. In, in English? Yeah. Even now, you would just talk to her in English, you talk no, to No, I mean, I would just help her to improve her English. Okay. So, when I meet her mom, we all speak in Thai. Oh, when you're with the family, you yeah. speak in Thai. Okay, that's... Because I can't speak Thai. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's really good. Now, well, you guys are two from two, two different worlds. Is that, did, you know, and I know you said you didn't feel like any, like, you didn't feel this place here. Um, but was she okay with that from the gate, or did she? Did you, did you um, somehow? I mean, if you stayed together seven years. Well, you know, in the beginning, you could say some people are not, you know, used to the interracial type of relationships. Now I know what you mean, but for real, she was different than what was the girl that time. Was it love at first sight, or was it more like we you grew we into to, love? We, we get to know each other first. Got to know each other. Okay. Now, well, what about her family meeting you? Was there any issues involved in that? No. I mean, here, they don't have to talk about, you know, our color of skin. Okay. Now, what what advice would could you give somebody that might be seeking something like that coming to the city? Is it worth it finding that in the city? or It, it depends what you're looking for in the first place. You need to know. What you want for well, I, I'm assuming everybody here is for that one thing, that quick, that quick trill. No, no one's looking for love. But what no. is your take on that? I mean, it's true, but anywhere you go, if you plan for vacation, or if you want to stay here, okay. different. Okay. If you want to meet someone, you need to look in for the white one, like you will do in your home country. You know what I'm saying? Now, what about the women here? That's another uh, discussion. You know, I'm always reading comments and people, I think people have a general idea that there's, there's no honest woman here. I mean, this is, what I would say, this is bullshit. Why? Because we have the same in our country. 
you have good woman and you know bad one stuff like that so for me it doesn't change here i mean here you would see the real world if she's good or if she wants all your money you know what i'm saying so it's no big difference people don't uh, there's no big difference between the way the way the women act here compared to other places maybe no, this place this, is a little bit because in our country they don't act the same way you know here they will ask you straight up i want your cash okay. and i'm saying uh -huh. but you because you went to this spot and so you know exactly what you're looking for coming here so you know oh so that's something very interesting because I think some guys, a large majority of guys that will come here, will come here and, 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 and in their mind, they feel like they can find a wife here off of a massage parlor or something like that. What do you think? It's going to happen, I'll be honest. So, even in a weird woman, go like, you know, uh, to the mall, she has a regular job, to the bank, you know what I'm saying? What about a girl that works at like a, maybe at the bar or maybe at a massage spot? I'm not saying they're all bad. This is not what I'm saying. But you need, Maybe they all have pure hearts yeah. and this is what they're doing. But you need to get to know each other. And you need to ask yourself first, what do you want with her? You got to be real with the situation exactly. involved. Exactly. Other boys come down here, some of them want to get laid, some of them want to get married, you know, stuff like that. Like anywhere in the world. So, ask yourself first what do you want and work for it. I think we got it, guys. Uh, my first time here in Soy Bukau. It is a huge street area. Maybe I do a live from here. Like this video. Um, yeah, um, if people want to get in contact with you, how can they get in contact with you? Oh, you can join me on Instagram, JW Jamal. So, you know, hit me up. JW Jamal, the information will be on the screen, okay, guys? Yeah. If you plan to come down here, you need some information, you know. The man got information and he's famous. He don't like to admit it, though. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's put it like this. People, he's a good guy. People like like talking to this guy, all right? He's a very he's a very cool cat, okay? So I put it like that, you know what I'm saying? Very relaxed dude. And if anything, he might be able to steer you in the right direction. So. Anyways, guys, if you have more questions, comment down below. Because he watches my videos, so he might be able to answer some of them. Show him some love. He's a good guy right here. Come on. You, come on I try to up. tell you that. Y'all know that, Heidi. <laughs> Anyways, guys, see you in the next video. Y'all. Stay alive. <laughs> yeah, thank you, brother. <laughs> stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> All right. Thank <laughs> you. I need to talk about the kid. Oh, the kid. Sir. Yes, please, this man. Yes. Why don't you know? Why? All right, so right now I'm just testing the audio to see.